the project lead, Travis, he was mentioning one of the characters has this harp that's also a bow. Um, he showed me this this picture. I'm like, that's amazing. That needs its own sound. We need to like incorporate that into the soundtrack somehow. me to do that but it's just inspiring it's creative and and when you create your own sound like that which i think i took like seven different harp samples and add like a synth on top so it has this like very sweet but also menacing kind of sound um and something like that right you can you can incorporate these types of things and to me at least uh sound itself the timbre of a sound is the most inspiring aspect of music to me um, and we talked about this a lot in this group that, you know, we just did our NES composing challenge. And it's very fascinating to me how I can write a melody and a harmony and a rhythm and put it in, in NES chiptune land. And all of a sudden it has a totally different character than if I took the exact same notes. For those of you who have watched the Avery Berman masterclass, right? The power of sketch to production. He took the four little layers and turn it into four different pieces of music in w radically, wildly different genres. One of them was a trap beat. The other one was a chip tune. The other one was like a fully produced orchestral thing. And you see how um, the soundscape is ultimately what, what determined the end result. So for me, it doesn't have to apply to everybody, but for me, creating a sound from scratch is a really big part of the sonic identity of a soundtrack. You have a computer that can do incredible things. So, you know, try to do things that uh, you like just to try and have fun. Like um, recently, I noticed I was talking to Steven about this. I used uh, his Simple Samples Viola uh, library and his um, uh, the Didgeridoo library. Yeah. And I was like, what if I just tune both these down like a like a whole octave? if you're gonna do it with a viola just use a cello but it just sounds different and it sounded really menacing and it was fun to just kind of play around with distortion on these things and just throw a bunch of plugins at it see what happens yeah. by the way i heard that track <laughs> he shared it with me and i thought it was the coolest thing in the world i thought it was so cool i'm like dude we need to make a, like a new sample library just on this sound and call it like just dark down to dark viola, menacing baby. evil whatever soundscapes because like I tried it in my doll and I just threw those two things on there, pitch shifted them, added some distortion or whatever the heck he did to it. Um, and it's just this, this big, and, and like, I never would have thought of doing that, but that's, that's what we get to do as composers. We get to take normal sounds, combine them together and make something brand new. I just think that's so cool. Yeah. Just play around with it. Have fun. Have fun.